Hello friends, this is Adam Shoemaker, rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston. Hope you're well. Uh, welcome to this Wednesday service of Noonday Prayer. I'll be using today the devotions for Wednesday evening from a New Zealand prayer book with some slight uh, um, amendments at the end. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Kneel in prayer to the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name, that out of the treasure of glory God may grant us strength and power through the Spirit in our inmost being, that Christ, through faith, may dwell in our hearts in love. Jesus, friend of sinners, you call us to love our enemies, to do good to those who hate us, to bless those who curse us and pray for those who treat us badly. Jesus, reconciler, when someone slaps us on the cheek, you call us to offer the other. When someone takes our coat, you bid us give our shirt as well. When someone takes what is ours, we may not demand it back. Jesus, Son of God, our friend and brother, when we love our enemies and do good, we are children of God, who is kind to the wicked and ungrateful. Jesus, teacher without peer, you have turned the world upside down. We'll now have a time of silence in which I invite your prayers and your thanksgivings. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of this day and of one another. Amid the changes and chances of this life, we give thanks for your eternal changelessness. Help us to ground ourselves in your never-failing love so that we might better be equipped to go out into the world for love's sake. Bless the sick, the vulnerable, the dying, doctors, nurses, essential workers, all those working on our behalf and those calling us to strive for justice. Help us this day and always to be the people and the church that you call us to be in the world. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whose loving kindness we have been born anew, born to a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, born to an inheritance which will never perish or be frittered away, but is kept for us in heaven. We rejoice though now we suffer trials, so that our faith, tested by fire, may resound to the praise and glory and honor of God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Here ends the reading. Our Father, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Creator of the universe, infinite and glorious, you give us laws to save us from our folly. Give us eyes to see your plan unfolding, your purpose emerging as the world is made. Give us courage to follow the truth, courage to go wherever you lead. Then we shall know blessings beyond our dreams. Then will your will be done. Thanks to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the cruel pains and insults you have borne for us for all the many blessings you have won for us. Holy Jesus, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, 
May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. God of peace, be with us through the hours of this day. Support us if it brings us pain or anxiety. And be with us this night until we come once more to the morning light of another day. Amen.